Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of... The Sexy Tablespoon. The Sexy Tablespoon. Today, we decided to take our own slash your advice that you agreed on, and we are gonna make vegan pad thai. Now, this is not a traditional pad thai recipe. It is very simple and very easy. You can't mess it up, and I guarantee you, okay, I don't guarantee, but you probably already have most, if not all, of the ingredients in your house. And we're having a little bit of uh, grape juice and sparkle water spritzers. Alcohol-free, as always. Mmm, it's really nice. Not bad. Your mise en place for this recipe, obviously you're gonna need some pad thai noodles. So these are rice noodles. We're gonna use two boxes of this because I decided to make a crap ton instead of just a normal ton. So we're gonna have a crap ton of pad thai after this. Also in the pad thai, we're gonna be sauteing some veggies. So we're gonna have some onions, carrots, cabbage, and then we will be adding in, without cooking, some mung bean sprouts, some red onion, and assorted sweet bell peppers. Also some cilantro. And then for the sauce, very, very, very simple sauce. Garlic, sugar, lime juice, peanut butter, and Bragg's liquid aminos. Nice sharp knife. This is the worst kitchen accident you've ever seen. Like hot water or like hot boiling sugar splashing. Or um, it was someone stabbing. using a deli slicer. Oh, stop, and then please. They just took off their knuckle. Oh. Took the whole thing off. Oh. This is actually my boyfriend. And then. Oh, yeah. And then you look over at the deli slicer and like the knuckle bone is like stuck to the blade. Yes. Oh! God damn. How you get really nice uniform carrot sticks is you hold your carrot like this, be careful, it'll move around on you, and you take the end off at a very sharp diagonal. And then you keep going. Try not to let the carrot slices stick to your knife. And be very careful as you go. This is a great way to cut yourself. Definitely use your chef claw. And then your little round end pieces you save those for later. And then you scoot this and start spreading them out like a fan so that they're all resting on top of each other. You see? Mm -hmm. And you can hold that down and start chopping along the side. Again, make sure you use your chef claw. You don't want to lose any fingertips here. Gotta stick those knuckles out. These aren't the best carrot sticks I've ever seen, but perfectly adequate. So we are just going to we are just going to use the equipment that we have, which is, you know, our trustworthy cast iron skillet, which seems like it's virtually invisible on the camera. First step when you're making the sauce, I'm gonna say it and you just paired it back. Not eat all of your confounded peanut butter. Not eat all of your confounded peanut butter. That's step one. No, step one. Not succeeding at that one. Not succeeding at that one. Step one is to turn on your pan. Medium hot. And you take it to probably like medium hot. Do we look alike? Turn it this way, turn it this way. No, I'm pretty this sure way. kids look more like me than you. Like you? Yeah. They pooed after you, yeah? yeah? Your human kids look like you, though. So once your pan is hot, you put your garlic in. So then I just spread the garlic out a little bit. So once your garlic starts to brown, you want to give it a little move around. Just going to add a tiny splash of water. Mix around. Yep. 
Maybe more. Ooh, oh. Watch out, that's steamy. That's just to encourage the garlic to cook through more without burning because when garlic burns and gets too brown, it ends up tasting bitter. So you see we're starting to get some stickage and the garlic is starting to go s and the garlic is starting to go slightly translucent. Soy sauce. So now is the time to add the soy sauce. Just want to put enough, more. you know, to cover the bottom of your pan. You want your garlic to kind of swim in it. I'm going to add some water. We're going to just turn off the heat now. We have garlic and then one part of the Bragg's liquid aminos and then about two parts water and we turned off the heat. So now what we will do is add... Add some sugar. So I think... Probably. So Maybe that was about... Okay. Like what, a half a cup of sugar? Um, yeah, like probably like a third of a cup of sugar. We use coconut sugar. Tastes delicious. And let that dissolve. And then once this cools down a little bit, we will um, drain it into just like a, a, a cup or a bowl. And then we will add in the peanut butter and give it a good mix. Okay, now that we put it in a separate bowl, we're going to add about a third of a cup of peanut butter in here. We're just going to mix it around. Okay, so now we're adding in the juice of two limes. And now in the same pan that we had the sauce, so there's still like some sauce goop all around there, I am going to saute our onions, carrots, and then eventually the cabbage. First thing I add is the onions and the carrots and let those soften up a little bit. When you're making dishes that have more of an Asian influence, you wanna make sure that your pan is nice and hot and then your vegetables will be cooked quickly. So they'll be in and out of the pan pretty fast. And since my pan is pretty small, I'm just gonna put in half of the veggies at this time and then let these cook off so that they don't get like waterlogged and then they get kind of like a gross taste. You want it to be nice, high heat so that they taste fresh, a little bit caramelized, and they're still a little bit tender. Excuse me, they're still a little bit crisp. And I'll get some water boiling for the noodles. Okay, so you see here they're just turning a little bit translucent, a little bit of caramelization, but they're still nice and crisp once you take them off the flame. Back on, and now it's a cabbage. And while the cabbage cooks, I'm gonna get my fresh veggies cut up to go inside the pad thai as well. And you can cook off your peppers, but you know, it's like if you can have them raw, I like them raw, so go for it. So you just want nice, skinny pepper strips. Sliced up thin. Okay, that cabbage is done. Okay, thank you. So with rice noodles like these, you just put them straight into water that has come to a boil and then you turn it off right away and you just let them sit for about 12 minutes. You gotta make sure it's completely... Submerged, yes. What do you want me to do with this guy? Throw the mung beans. The whole thing? Yeah. <clears throat> so there are all your pad thai veggies. And the heat, the residual heat from the vegetables having been cooked will help to soften those mung beans a little bit, but I do not like to soften mung beans. Otherwise they just start to purge all of their water and it gets pretty gross. I'll go ahead and add in the cilantro. Nice, healthy helping of cilantro. All right, we almost don't have any room for our noodles in here. Okay, and our sauce is right there waiting to go in later. Mmm. Look done to me. All right, noodles go in. Wow, that's a lot of noodles. And add the sauce. Oh, it smells so good. Damn, that looks really nice. Yeah. 
We can start eating then, yes? Yeah, yes. All right, so there is the finished pad thai. I have to say it actually tastes better than it even looks. Oh, it's so yummy. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of our videos, including our weekly The Sexy Tablespoon videos. Just because I've been a snappy bitch, I'm gonna let you have some off my plate. And if you guys wanna have dinner with us, you're gonna have to head over to my What I Eat in a Day video, where we will be chowing on this for a little while. I'm not sure for how long though, we're both kind of tired and irritable. I'm not irritable. I'm irritable. And give this video a thumbs up if you learned a little bit something about making a super non-traditional vegan pad thai that's really simple and delicious and so good that I need to stop talking and just put it in my mouth already because I'm starting to drool. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. I like the thicker noodles. That is good. Ah. You like the goatee a little bit? What do you think? Isn't that the same goatee that you've had forever? Yeah. Looks great. All right. All right. Wait, yeah, I always wear a fucking goatee, right? Oh my <laughs> god. Sometimes I, I wonder, like sincerely Fuck. wonder about you. Dude, I do too. <laughs> First, like the people who are, oh my god. You put these pants back in the laundry basket? I told you I gotta throw it away. Why'd you put it back? What if I wore this to work? Maybe if you didn't leave them in the floor. I told you, do not move it from that spot. I got. I didn't know that those were the same pants. That was that was like five days ago that you told me that. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the. That was supposed to cue you. Slide. Let's try it again. Okay, it's the sexy tables. Dude, I gotta practice. Okay. <laughs> I cannot do it. Like that? You have to, you have to should like... Should I say like, the sexy tablespoon? No, you should be like, the sexy tablespoon. No, you should do the sexy tablespoon and like... The sexy tablespoon. Yeah! Yeah? <laughs> like that. The sexy tablespoon. No, fuck, I didn't do it right! You didn't say it loud enough. Ah, oh, the se... <laughs> I'm not sweating. Okay. Okay, hold I'm on, gonna hold do on, it then. No, 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 I want... Oh, we already have seven minutes of bloopers. <laughs> oh, let's try it one more time. I promise you guys. Oh, you got all green shit all in your teeth. You lucky <laughs> I see. Fuck you, lucky I seen that shit. I don't see anything. Oh, like the bottom teeth. Well, my bottom teeth never come out. <laughs> Stop! It's the snaggle tooth again. Let me, let me take it up. It's always a snaggle tooth. Can you just go to Thailand and get fake teeth? I don't have time to dental floss, right? Where was that? Oh, where? Holy shit. It's like a tree. <laughs> now we have an ambulance. I swear to God. <laughs> Everybody shut the fuck up! Maybe I should scream louder for the ambulance. There you go. <laughs> I am about to, to have a stroke. Rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, rolling. Oh.